Good morning, everybody. Low Wolf Rick here. It is about 7.30 a.m. here on the Las Vegas Strip on a Saturday morning, December 17th. And it is cold, cold, cold. Uh, I, I'm just getting older, so it seems colder, too. 31 degrees this morning. As of this started this recording here in Las Vegas, Burr. So we'll take a few minutes to walk around. Check this out. What is the deal with these escalators? Maybe they, you know, well, the, the one going down one works. I was going to say maybe they don't work after a certain temperature or whatever. But man, these things are down just all the time. You know, it's like just replace them. Anyway. Uh, 31 degrees here in Las Vegas. I'm trying to get my mouth to work here a little bit. And we'll take a few minutes to just uh, kind of walk down the strip here and see what's going on. Hope everybody's uh, going to have a great weekend here. Lots of football this weekend. Lots of bowl games today, including the Las Vegas Bowl, uh, which gets underway, I'm thinking, around 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, Florida against uh, Oregon State. And I know the game is not sold out yet, but they said tickets were going pretty fast. So uh, they're expecting a really good crowd at the stadium uh, today. Uh, they played at Allegiant Stadium, uh, home of the Raiders. And uh, you know, it's like the more I look at it, even though Florida has a lot of people that's not playing, it should be a pretty good game, I would think. So, but that's why they play the game, right? Hope everybody saw my video I posted last night. Uh, if you haven't, check it out. Uh, there was a truck traveling northbound on the Las Vegas Strip that uh, caught fire last night. And uh, when I saw it, I, I was leaving, it was about 11 o'clock, and I was getting ready to go home, and I was leaving New York, New York. I stopped in real quick, had a sandwich, and uh, was heading out the door, and I saw the smoke coming from down a ways here on the strip, and uh, kind of went over, and I saw flames uh, shooting up. And I got to a pedestrian overpass and saw that uh, there was this truck on fire. So I came over kind of as quickly as I could, got as close as I could that the police uh, would, would let me get, and uh, captured a few minutes of this truck. Unfortunately, the fire department already had the flames put out uh, by the time I got to it. But uh, this truck was in really bad shape, and it's like, you know, and I saw the fire department there, uh, they were sp still spraying water on the inside of the uh, vehicle, and uh, they were using these, uh, what's it like, the jaws of life, but it was like these big crowbar things trying to get the doors open to the truck, and I thought maybe there was like somebody inside. Uh, I do not think there was anybody inside, and I told last night, I told everybody that I would update them today in this video as to what I found out, and you know what? I found out absolutely nothing. No news uh, outlet, TV, newspaper, uh, internet news sites, nobody covered that truck on fire on the strip last night. Which I think, I mean, as of the time I'm recording this, there's no stories, uh, no pictures except for me and one other like uh, video on YouTube where somebody was driving by and actually captured the flames coming out of the cab of the truck. And... Uh, I, it, it just amazed me that uh, there was like no news coverage. You know, it was kind of like, uh, you know, like that couple of weeks ago when it was like a jumper in New York, New York. It wasn't covered by anybody. It was never, never made the news any place. In fact, my video was the only proof that it ever happened. And even it's like, you know, the few days later when the security had this guy that was causing problems inside New York, New York, and they took it outside on the uh, pedestrian overpass. And uh, nobody covered that either. 
you know, the news outlets are pretty selective here in this town, and they only uh, cover what they want you to know, which is a, kind of a real shame, to be honest with you. Selective news. But anyway, uh, I did get a, a kind of a couple of short videos on the uh, truck uh, as uh, they got a little bit closer. There, were, there was nobody inside the truck. Let me let me put that in there. But, you know, it was interesting because I never saw anybody even outside the truck or sitting down or, or anything. Now, it's possible they could have already had him in a police car or the person or people in a police car, uh, you know, at that time. But I never saw anybody that... Uh, uh, you know, in that uh, from the vehicle, anywhere around the vehicle, or just sitting on the side, it's like while well, the fire department was putting out nothing. So, as far as what caused it, you know, when I saw the flames, they were coming out of the cab of the truck. Uh, but you know, it very easily could have been, uh, uh, you know, from the engine itself, and it's like they shot back to the cab. That very well could be a possibility, uh, but the truck was just completely torched. It's, uh, you know, nothing much left of it. The front end of the truck was almost completely gone. And I got a couple of short videos that I'll post after this video here uh, to show you. It's like uh, the condition of the truck from the front and the side. And, uh, you know, from what I could see on the inside of the truck, it was complete. The seats and it, everything were completely gone. It was a. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, but you know, like I said, it's interesting that no news media, uh, at least at the time of this thing, there's no stories out there uh, where anybody ever covered that. Uh, covered the uh, story, so I don't know if, uh, like I said, there was nobody inside the cab. It's like when the fire department got the doors open. Uh, so obviously the people escaped uh, I don't know if they escaped injuries or not you know it's like if they got up before the flames uh, got to the cab or if they if the flames started in the cab and they just uh, jettisoned the truck and ran out you know but uh, yeah it's uh, that's uh, that was life in Vegas last night pretty pretty exciting stuff and uh We'll just kind of, uh, I'll just kind of keep watching the internet and see if any of the news sources actually even make a mention or a blurb of the uh, of the uh, story as uh, time, time goes on. But this morning, and uh, today, it's like I said, the football games today here in Vegas, uh, they've got a, a basketball tournament at the MGM Grand, uh, four smaller uh universities uh, that are playing in that tournament and uh, other than that nothing much really going on here take a look here at, uh, southbound here on the strip as I've got this pedestrian overpass here uh, across from the park MGM and heading towards uh, the Hard Rock Cafe Take a look northbound here. I tell you what, this Ross store right here, uh, this is a little bit of the side there, and I'm going to pass here in a minute. It uh, is absolutely crazy busy in there for the Christmas season. They are, uh, I'm telling you, they have, there's people leave the store with just bags and bags of clothing and shoes and, and all kinds of stuff uh, uh, where it's just crazy busy. So, yeah, it's... Uh, what is it, uh, one week of Christmas shopping days left, huh? So at least I know the Ross store's doing a tremendous uh, Christmas volume business here. 
It's like for the strip and hopefully all the other, especially the little small businesses stores, the little mom and pop stores. It's like I'm hoping they do a, a pretty good business also. But I know this Ross store extended their hours also. They're opening uh, every day, like at 8 a.m., uh, to around 11 p.m. Uh, every day. It's like up until Christmas. So, uh, All right, so I'm coming up now where this uh, truck actually was on fire. <coughs> Excuse me. It's right on the other side of these little poles right here that protect the pedestrians from the foot of the traffic. I thought at first it's like maybe it's like the uh, truck had struck one of these uh, uh, protective barriers here, but uh, the truck was right about here where I'm showing you, and I don't... I don't really see any damage or anything scraping or whatever, so I'm not sure what happened. But this is about where it was right here. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. All right, everybody, it's going to take and do it for this video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, everybody. That was a fire, goddammit.